Welcome to Studio Jakarta EE. There has been some uh, comments and uh, discussions on the mail list lately about uh, how to sign off the uh, git commits. And uh, I thought I'll just create this short video to show one way of doing it. Of course with git there are always a lot of ways of doing it and whatever tool you're more com comfortable with or more productive with, that's the tool you're going to use. What I will show is how to do it uh, a simple step-by-step -step, uh, using a command line. So let's just open a, a command line here and have a look at a simple repository. So I created this repository called sign off demo. It contains one file and, and uh, it is a, a GitHub repo. So I can check here that it is uh, linked to my GitHub. Let's uh, look at how it looks there. So you see here, it is a simple repo with uh, one commit, one file. So this is kind of my starting point. So let's see, if I wanted to create a pull request towards this repository, let's look at how I would do that. So the first thing uh, I would like to do is to create a branch and check out the branch. And I usually do a, a uh, this in, in one command. So if I use the checkout command, and dash b will create the branch for me and let's just call this branch demo so then i'll, I'll be on the uh, demo branch uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to uh, make a change to the uh, file so i'll just use nano that's kind of my favorite editor for uh, for this kind of things and i'll just make a change here a change i'll save it there we go so uh, now I've made one change to the readme file. So let's uh, go ahead and commit this. Commit the readme file with a commit message and I'll say unsign. And this is because this commit I'll commit without signing it or, or adding the sign off uh, to the commit. So there it is. So now I, I can see here that I've done the unsigned uh, commit to, uh, to this uh, file. Let's uh, do, do another change. Uh, I'll, I'll go into the same file and, and do another change. There we go. So you can see I, I've changed the file and now I'll, I'll make a commit and uh, do a sign off. So I'll use the same git commit uh, as I did with uh, this is a signed commit. And here I'll use the dash s. So dash s will sign it with my uh, email that I've configured with my git. Of course you can do this with any kind of tooling in an, any other way, but uh, this is an easy way of doing it. And, and if we look at, the, uh, at, at the, the, the commit so far, no, sorry. So, so now you can see I have the, the, the last commit I did was a sign commit, and this has added this line sign off by, and, and then my email address. And you can see my unsigned commit doesn't have this. So uh, what happen, happens if I if I create a pull request with this uh, and, and there is a check in the Eclipse repository checking for if a commit is signed. So I'll just push this to the uh, repository. So, so I created my, my branch, I, I pushed it up. Uh, and uh, if, if I have a look at the uh, the repository you can see I have the first the unsigned commit uh, that has just the the uh, unsigned comment then I have the signed commit which has the sign off by and if I go and look at this in the uh, in the browser you can see here that I can do a uh, pull request from the demo, demo branch to the master branch and you can see there are two commits here you have the unsigned commit which is has the uh, the uh, just the unsigned uh, comment and, and I have the other commit here which is a signed commit that has a, a, a sign off so in order to contribute to a, um, a uh, Eclipse repository you need to have a sign off on each commit so this pull request would fail the ECA check if I had this check activated on, on my repository so let's go ahead and see how we can fix this. So usually this is the way you do it, or usually you come up to this situation, you have done 
a, a pull request and you discover that hey, one of my commits doesn't have the, uh, the, the correct uh, sign-off. So let's see how I can add that to uh, these commits that are already pushed to the demo branch. So I use the git log and, and uh, you can see here I have the initial commit, my unsigned commit that lacks the, the sign off uh, comment and the signed off commit. So this is the commit I want to uh, make changes to. And in order to do that, there are many ways of doing this, but one way is to take the previous commit and, and copy this hash and then I'll, I'll rebase back to that commit. So I'll rebase and I'll use the dash i to, to make it interactive and use the previous commit. Note that I'm using the previous commit to the one I want to fix. So what I get here is I, I get a list of commits here and, it, and uh, the uh, in the unsigned one, which is the one I want to change, I'll just go in and edit this one. So when I save this file, I get the uh, the help from the from the Git tooling saying you want to amend something or re uh, continue the rebase. And in this case, I want to amend something. So I'll, I'll write git commit amend dash s. And that uh, means that I will add the sign off to the commit that uh, didn't have this. So if I do this, you see it has the unsigned comment and it's added this sign off. And I'll just add the text now with sign off or, or something else. And I'll save this file. And, and you can see here that it has been detached. So what I want to do now is if I write uh, git status, you'll get some uh, comments here and you get some tips. And it says here at the end, uh, use the git rebase uh, continue once you're satisfied. And that is what I'll, I'm going to do. Continue. So now I've, I've fixed everything. If I, if I look at the, the log here, like this, you can see I now have the the uh, unsigned commit, no with sign off, signed off, and the, the signed commit. And this is where, uh, well, so far, but everything is local in, in my repository. So if I have a look at it, you can see here that I've, I've done these things and it's kind of, it hasn't been, been pushed to the, uh, the uh, origin yet. And since I know I've been manipulating the, uh, the commit history, I have to force this push. So what I'll do is git push origin demo, which is the name of my branch, and force it. Then it will override the stuff that is up there. So there we go, it's a forced update. If I now look at the, the uh, in gitk, you can see I now have a unsigned, which has a sign off, and I have the sign commit afterwards. So I've fixed it now, and you can see uh, if I go to the remote, remote repository and, and check the pull request now, you can see that the, the uh, commits are now signed off. So uh, this pull request would pass the uh, test of the ECA. So that was what I had to uh, sh show you here today. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, that is helpful. And uh, in some follow-up video, I'll show how you can use this, uh, do this using your ID and uh, also how to check that you're using the correct email address for the Eclipse repo. So thank you for listening and hope you enjoyed it.